Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for the upcoming week of June 10 to 14 on General Hospital indicate that Brooke Lynn Quartermain and Harrison Chase may proceed with an intervention for Hamilton Finn, but will their plan be implemented too late? Drinking may seem like the only option left to Finn after he trashes what's left of his relationship with Elizabeth Baldwin and further wreck his life. Brooke Lynn and Chase might intervene to save Finn as he drinks himself into a deep depression and keeps lamenting the death of Gregory Chase. Unfortunately, there have been signs that Finn might not survive this plot, so it won't surprise us if he gets into a drunk driving accident in the future. Nevertheless, it's clear that Finn's story isn't going well, so we'll keep you informed about all the drama that will develop as a result of his unwillingness to give up the bottle. More positively, Nina Reeves might get to spend time with her family. Willa Corinthos might arrange a mother-daughter bonding activity, or even let Nina play with her grandchildren, because she knows how Nina will react to a beautiful surprise soon. According to other GH teasers, Dex Heller will get some news after he extends an invitation. Will Jocelyn Jax get it and will she accept in the end? We'll have to wait and see if Jocelyn and Dex will be going on a date night, but it will be intriguing to see. Anna Devon will probably give Valentin Cassidy a call in the interim to let him know she's prepared for another date at his house. Valentin will probably want to get closer to Anna by making her dinner, but he'll be concerned about how much of her life she really knows. Of course, since Valentin returned that crucial burner call, Anna is now well informed. Now that she's got everything straight and knows Valentin is working for Pikeman, Anna will undoubtedly try to spend some alone time in his home and gather proof. Anna's only option is to use a trap to take Valentin down, even if it will destroy her heart. Will Ava Jerome play the tape for Sonny Corinthos, and let him know how Natalia Ramirez truly feels about Christina Corinthos Davis's friendship with Blaze, also known as Alison Rogers. Regardless, if John Jagger Cates continues to put pressure on Sonny about what transpired in the warehouse, he might be thinking about other more pressing matters. We'll give you additional predictions on Sonny's decline since he will be overburdened and unable to cope because he isn't taking his medication as prescribed. According to General Hospital spoilers, Sonny's storyline will take some unexpected turns the week of June 10 to 14, so make sure not to miss any of the action. Everyone has been anxiously awaiting the birth of the child to see how this transaction plays out. After all these months of nurturing and feeling this child kick, will Christina find it difficult to let go of it? Will TJ and Molly continue to be appreciative of Christina, or will they begin to cut her out of their child's life? If Christina declines to sign the adoption documents, will they ever possibly be able to bring the kid home? Word on the street is Diane Miller is well aware of the existing issue, which none of them will be able to predict. Spoilers for General Hospital. Diane Miller has a secret. Diane didn't request to be involved in this. In fact, it was Diane who counseled Alexis Davis to stay in this role as a mother and not try to play legal counsel because she was concerned that she may find herself firmly between her daughters, one the biological mother and the other the adoptive mother of the kid. However, it appears that Andrea Gates, TJ, and Molly's original surrogate who supposedly miscarried the child may have hired Diane. Is it possible that Andrea chose to keep the child she created with TJ's donated sperm and her own egg in secret, and that she now want to keep him or her forever? E.H. Teasers A hint the reinstatement of Alexis Davis complicates things. If Alexis is allowed to resume practicing law, things will become very unclear very quickly. After that, the intention is for her to practice with Diane, her best friend, how is Diane going to keep the specifics of her case with Andrea under wraps and out of Alexis's sight? Will she suddenly say that after Andrea has hired her services, there is a conflict of interest, even that she voluntarily took on a case to assist Andrea in stealing Molly and TJ's kid, 
Will she have to tell Alexis the truth and run the danger of breaking their friendship? That's probably how Alexis will interpret it anyway. Spoilers for General Hospital. Two babies on deck. Will TJ and Molly ultimately go up against Diane in court? Will Alexis become Diane's offensive advisor rather than her partner in the end? Will the two closest friends with the highest level of awareness engage in a vicious struggle for justice, with Diane defending the letter of the law, and Alexis fighting from the bottom of her heart for her daughter's flimsy claim to a child that isn't really hers? Is Andre able to have her miscarriage story corrected? To find out, check back for more geeish spoilers and news. General Hospital spoilers reveal that now that Willow Corinthos appears to be warming up to Nina Reeves once more, her fantasies are starting to come true. Drew Kane has had a significant influence on this, but will Willow expel them from her life once she learns the truth about their colleagues with benefits arrangement? Spoilers for General Hospital Willow Corinthos is about to open a door. According to Gieff spoilers, Willow appears to be more willing than ever to involve her mother in her life as well as the lives of Wiley and Amelia Corinthos, her children. In fact, Willow will tell Michael Corinthos in the preview for the week of June 10 that she is willing to give Mina another chance if Drew is. Willow holds Drew in high regard and appears to be following his lead when it comes to comes to her mother, but if she learns of his in-office antics with Nina, will her perspective shift? Drew appears to be giving Nina a chance, but Willow is unaware of what goes on at Crimson behind closed doors. In Port Charles, secrets tend to come to light, but not until Willow and Nina develop a strong relationship again. Just before Nina's SEC secret was made public, the mother-daughter team was quite close to being in a serious relationship. Regretfully, Willow abandoned her biological mother after realizing what Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bennard, had done. Willow will feel mistreated and deceived if she discovers that Drew is merely bringing Nina closer to her for sex. She has put him on a low position, so she may drop him as well as her mother if she discovers he has been using her for Reeves' benefit. Assuming, that is, that Nina and Drew do not develop a romantic interest from their physical bond. In the event that they fall in love, will Willow be upset? When Willow discovers the real purpose of Nina and Drew's friendship, will she feel deceived? Spoilers for General Hospital Willow Corinthos is about to open a door. According to GK spoilers, Willow appears to be more willing than ever to involve her mother in her life as well as the lives of Wiley and Amelia Corinthos, her children. In fact, Willow will tell Michael Corinthos in the preview for the week of June 10 that she is willing to give Nina another chance if Drew is. Willow holds Drew in high regard and appears to be following his lead when it comes to thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.